Justin is not a particularly um, Jewish name. In fact, Justin was the Roman, Roman emperor, some charge with um, putting in place one of the first series of anti-Semitic uh, legislative laws. Uh, laws. So, you know, the question years later, when I asked that as sort of a scholar, like, why Justin? I don't think that occurred to my parents. I, I don't think that they sort of researched the name and tried to see whether there was any specific meaning to it. They liked the name, and it seemed like a good name that would be good for a Canadian child that wouldn't distinguish uh, him as, uh, as other. Um, so even though they were highly Jewish identified, both in personal background and in commitments, there was no sense that, that the name had to be different. There was no sense that public school wouldn't be um, appropriate. You know, in, in my own decisions that I've made with my wife, it would be the exact opposite. I mean, my three children's names, um, also interesting in terms of the Yiddish connection because they have nothing to do with Yiddish, but uh, Avia, Amitai, and Shalev, you know, these are highly um, ethnically marked names that will distinguish them forever from <laughs> at least when they're in, in a North American context, but our thinking was totally different. We wanted names that would be the same here and in Israel, so they wouldn't have to have sort of this bifurcated um, identity in terms of what their names ought to be, depending on what group they're hanging out with. So these are our names. It's, it, it, it tells them who they are. They're not particularly modern Israeli names, but they're also not um, from names um, in that sense. So they are Amitai and Avia, at least are biblical names, but they're un, you know, really not popular names. Shalev is a little bit more modern Israeli, but it, it, you know, it, all names send um, symbolic messages about the people who chose those names, and one can easily identify what those symbolic messages might be in our choice of those names. Although in our last son, we, we needed, all the names are named after people, so we needed a L name, and Shalev, a name for my grandmother who had recently died, Lotti, uh, Charlotte, so Shalev is, is very good, but the, uh, a second one that was very second in the running was Leivik. I really was pushing for Leivik, but there was some um, discussion over whether uh, naming someone uh, after a diminutive would be appropriate. So it was there, but it, it just didn't make it. So that's one decision that sort of differentiates one generation from another. 